United States President Donald Trump has just given his anxiously awaited address regarding the future of the JCPOA nuclear agreement with Iran. And true to his word, the U.S. will no longer be participating in the landmark deal. The Iran deal is defective at its core. If we do nothing, we know exactly what will happen. In just a short period of time, the world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapons. Therefore, I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. In a few moments, I will sign a presidential memorandum to begin reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions on the Iranian regime. We will be instituting the highest level of economic sanction. This exit from the deal marks a dramatic turning point in U.S. policy, one with huge global implications. Most of the world's leaders, including top Israeli military brass, have lobbied hard to keep the deal. But for Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, Trump's controversial announcement plays exactly into his ideal endgame. Israel uh, fully supports President Trump's bold decision today to reject the disastrous nuclear deal with the terrorist regime in Tehran. Israel has opposed the nuclear deal from the start because we said that rather than blocking Iran's path to a bomb, the deal actually paves Iran's path to an entire arsenal of nuclear bombs, and this within a few years' time. The removal of sanctions uh, under the deal has already produced disastrous results. The deal didn't push war further away. It actually brought it closer. Now that America is officially out of the deal, the ball is in Iran's court. Europe and the other signers of the JCPOA are hoping they can keep Iran in the deal, on the grounds that it has, for better or for worse, succeeded in keeping nuclear weapons out of Iran's hands. But one piece of intel may have been the deciding factor for Trump. The president actually singled out Netanyahu's release of Mossad intel from Iran's nuclear archive, televised live on primetime TV in English last week. Analysts argued that the intelligence, which detailed Iran's nuclear program in 2003, only proved why the deal was necessary in the first place to halt Iran's progress. Nuclear inspectors have consistently confirmed that Iran has not pursued nuclear development since at least 2009. Contrary to this, Trump has just accused Iran of possessing enough uranium currently to make a bomb shortly. The greater fear now is that Trump's decision will trigger Iran to topple the deal altogether and resume developing nukes immediately. In such a case, and with no post-deal plan B, the world's powers would be left divided on how to deal with Iran. Analysts say this is the outcome Netanyahu may actually be seeking, because it would likely give Israel the go-ahead to launch a preemptive war against Iran. Moments before Trump's speech, the IDF launched a wide-scale alert in northern Israel, opening bomb shelters throughout the area. Citizens have been told not to panic, but the anxiety here is already palpable.